Hi there, this is Mark from Orange Rocket. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I want to talk about the cost per session. So um, as part of what we do um, for our clients is that uh, one thing that's really important to us is that we give them information and not data. And so uh, among many of the uh, information points that we give them is cost of session or cost per session. So this session is a unique uh, Amazon term, um, but it basically means the cost of traffic. So the cost of unique um, potential buyers to uh, your listing. So this is just a, an excerpt from one of our um, reports that we produce monthly, which is, um, there's multiple charts on the reports, but um, this reports on how much it costs to drive traffic to the listing. Now, if you are seeing your cost per session go down, then that's generally a good thing because you're, um, you're seeing that the cost of your um, advertising versus the number of people that are looking at your listing is um, going down and it costing you less to get that traffic. Now that may well be as your organic sales go up, it may well be your advertising costs go down, it may be a number of other things. But let's just quickly dig into how I produce those numbers. So if we come across here, so the first thing that we do is um, we go on to our Amazon Seller Central report um, or Seller Central account and we go to reports and then business reports and then you'll come over here and you go to detail page um, sales and traffic and then you'll pull down um, the reporting period that you're interested in, for example April for us, download the CSV, now I've obviously hidden the title, this is just an old account that we use, um, but um, I've hidden the title and um, we can see that we've got uh, 922 sessions for that month. Um, and at the moment we're not necessarily interested in orders and conversion rate and all that kind of thing for the purposes of this. Um, then what we do to the other part of that equation, we record the 922 and then we go um, to uh, over here onto our seller session, um, uh, our, our seller uh, account and uh, we go to advertising campaign manager and then we pull out this one here which is the spend for the same period. And then if I go over to this one here, we can see that um, what I've done for each month, um, I've just made these numbers up obviously, but I've tracked the number of sessions per month and the advertising spend. And you can see that I've graphed it over here. So the cost of the traffic is going up. Now if the cost of the traffic is going up, either your advertising spend is going up, which means that your ACOS and your TACOS are likely to be going up, or your you're losing organic rank and your sales for your um, your sales are declining but your advertising is staying the same and your sales are coming down or you're losing sales but generally the cost of traffic going up is not great unless you are purposely driving traffic and you know that your cost will go up in a temporary way so we can obviously influence this by let's say for example if we were to spend the same amount each month then the cost of traffic um, would the, the cost of spend would go down, but the cost of the traffic would stay fairly static. If um, if the number of sessions um, started to uh, obviously increase, if that was fifteen, and that was sixteen, and that was seventeen, and eighteen, and nineteen sessions, then you can see obviously the cost of traffic would be going down. Now that's generally a good thing, and it tells our brand owners that. Um, this is a good thing is that the cost of uh, marketing, which is effectively what it is, um, the amount of people that we're driving um, to our listing to become potential buyers um, is falling. And that's, um, that's uh, a, a good tick in the box for, for us, um, generally as a rule, depending on your objectives and, uh, and goals. So there's a lot more to it of cost of acquisition, lifetime value, there's a whole lot of things. But what I'm trying to do is to explain um, what are the important things that you need to be looking for as a brand owner and what you should be expecting your um, your partners, your agency partners to providing you with data so that you can make decisions about how well they're doing, how well your brand is doing and maybe some decisions that you need to make about the direction of your brand. Thank you ever so much for listening. I hope that's okay and speak to you again soon. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.